neighbor But I have to stay afloat It's not easy Be a person you don't want Can somebody Save me of the thing going to do Going to do Where is the life I Where's my shy Is this called living? I don't know, I don't know Where's the life I Where's my shy Is this called living? I don't know, I don't know I don't wanna grow up Just live myself Right. Yeah, I said in, in chat, it's been a while since I did the last live stream. Hi, Mark here. First live stream on this channel. My God, it's been a while since i done something like this. I mean, it's been a while. I've tried Twitch, but yeah, no, Twitch is really gaming platform and thoughts. That's it. Uh, crafting, do it yourself. There's pretty much no one watching so yeah and uh one of her cats here wants her attention in other words she wants food go mimi have a look 
say hi to the world. So yeah, the plan for today is to get started on the light box. Well, and giving this beautiful cat cuddles. Yeah, sorry if the camera moves. <laughs> She's headbutting pretty much everything right now. I want food, I want food. So, um, let me give the cats some food. Yeah, we've got two of them. So let me give the cats some food and uh, get started on the light box. I'll explain. All right, the missus is picking that one up. So she is giving the cat some food. Let me clear some stuff here. So I've got a bit of space because I need to put away the keyboard and mouse and key and mouse mat, that kind of thing. So it's all in the way. I need to do some cutting uh, and some gluing. That's all I'll be doing today. All right, the other one just woke up like, oh, there's food. There's actually food. So, let me put the keyboard away. And, well, a very large, beautiful mouse mat. That needs to go away too. Yeah, uh, you will see I am absolutely not prepared to do live streaming. Well, not that prepared, let's put it this way. I'm glad that headset is actually working. Bluetooth is not really causing too much of an issue. Put the wedding band away. <coughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, I can use it. Right, so what I'll be doing today is creating a light box. My wife, she wants to. Let me turn down the music a tad here. That's normally around 30%. Yes, that's a lot better. Yeah, I'm using PCL for that one. So I'll be creating a light box. Um, my wife, she uh, wants to craft a few things. For that, she needs to print out a few things. The problem is that our printer can't handle the paper format she will be using. Uh, I think our printer can handle up to, I think 200 grams, GMS grams per square centimeter or something, or square meters. I completely forgot how how that worked, but your regular A size four A letter, uh, A size four paper or US letter paper is roughly 80 grams or 80 GMS, right? The printer can handle up to 200 here. Uh, our printer can. It might be able to do a bit more, but the problem with that is uh, the rotors will indent the paper and pretty much ruin any, uh, anything that's printed on there. It will ruin the paper, so you're wasting ink. So by creating a light box, you have this principle. Uh, let me show you. Yeah, this is connected to a power supply. Let me put this one away. So. I light up this here. So, yeah, it's a bit bright. It's not as bright as I want it to be, but that's fair enough. It will do. It is something I bought for, I think, one euro at the action. More about that in a bit. So, I've got something like this here, right? Bit of a rough sketch, what I want to do. Just get a few thoughts out of the way. And there goes the microwave. <laughs> so the plan is to make a box. You put the original on there, which will be printed out on just your ADGMS paper type. You squeeze it in between two sheets of plywood, uh, plywood, um, plexiglass or glass or uh, acryl, acrylic sheets, whatever, anything that's transparent enough to let the light through. And what will happen is this will light up the whole area. I put the other paper on there. I can actually trace what I want to do and then cut it out. That's the plan. Right. So now about the other thing. 
see, I bought these from the action, I think they were a euro. Not that expensive. But I'm uh, pretty sure I can get get it cheaper in China. But I will take at least three weeks before I get it. At least three weeks. I'll get more of it, but still. When I look, at, I think it's a bit difficult to see. But the photo on this, it makes it pretty clear I can cut these into smaller parts. That's what I want because 30 centimeters is too big. I've got uh, the sheets here which are 13 by 18 centimeters. So yeah, this is too long. And something and the strip, I can't bend it like this and go like, well, let's corner this and do it like this, right? Or it will work somewhat. But yeah, not as I want it to. So what I wanted to do is cut it in half and then use two wires and just put this next to each other in series. Problem solved. Well, I bought this because of the photo that's on the packaging. When I opened it earlier, yeah, I did open it a bit more. I noticed this is pretty much not the same as on the packaging. So keep that in mind, dear Action. You're actually misleading your customers right now. But for one or euro, uh, all I do is complain and nothing more than that. I'll try to resolve this one way or the other. That's why I opened this bit here. Yeah to see how that is connected. It is simply soldered together here. So desolder it, problem solved, then just cut it in half and then put it together and loop it in series or parallel. And I'm not too sure which one I'll be using because with parallel I'll be, this is five volts. Parallel it will be using two volts each one amp because the power supply I'm using it has a maximum of 1 amp. I put this one is rated for maximum 1 amp anyway, uh, 5 volts, 1.4 watts. Uh, you can do the calculations because I need a calculator for that one, but you should have, end up with a maximum use of 1, amp, 1 amp. So this needs to be put in series, one way or the other. So yeah, I'll figure something out with this because the other thing I was looking at is this one which yep yeah, that's the microwave thing has three LEDs on it just PCB USB that's it you stick it in there there you go it's quite bright so I'm not too sure which one I'll be using. I might be using this one, but the problem with this is small area. So if I hold this above it, you can see it lets the light through. It's quite bright. It's brighter than the other one. So I need to figure something out, which one I'll be using, either this one or the other one. So let me disconnect this one. There we go. Because the last thing I want to do is have a battery of micro USB uh, ports on PCBs. I've got a few of them and cover these in, inside the box. It requires one power supply for each one of them. Otherwise, I'll get the issue that I don't have enough voltage, uh, <coughs> enough voltage going to to the LEDs or another enough amperage going to the LEDs. In other words, either they don't work or they're barely giving off any light so it makes it useless. Uh, in the past when you use something like this, and we're talking about well, 30 plus years ago, uh, I'm not making anything new here. You would just use a light bulb, that's it. That would be bright enough if you put like a 60 watt light bulb in there, it will blind you quite a lot. <laughs> so, but first of all, I need to make the box. Let's put 
this away because electronics I'll do that on a later date because I'll, I need to think around with that hence why this is part one and let's put this away so this way I've got some wood here it's hardboard uh, well unlike what it says it's everything but a hardboard it is just compressed pulp that's it but it's easy to cut using a nice big standing knife yeah or box cutter if you prefer to use that that one so yeah fiberboard it's hardboard it is just if you go to ikea and you buy or any other store you buy a do-it-yourself kit you for a cabinet for example this would be the material used as a back plate and most likely a bit thinner than this this is three millimeters but yeah it is sturdy enough but it's not that strong because if i Put some um let's see if i can do this if i bend it like this if i bend it a bit more i'm not barely using any power it will break straight away so it's not really hard board <laughs> yeah well the missus is busy with <laughs> dinner herself microwave so at least it's not interfering with the wi-fi signal anymore we moved to microwave far far away from from my computer. <laughs> this last time the microwave was near the computer, uh, I would lose my connection. So, well, to continue, I got these two photo frames here. I already opened them on the back. I thought these were acrylic plates or plexiglass. They're not. I just found out it's glass, which is actually not too bad. Not what I was expecting, but I bought these for specific sites size let's get rid of these and as you can see 13 by 18 centimeters so and you can see it's the same material on the back here uh i can ruin this like this right hot board yeah this is going into the bin anyway uh, i have absolutely no use for these small pieces at all so let's get rid of these and put that into the bin later on so it can be recycled so i've got a bit difficult to see two glass sheets here and i have to be careful now because it is glass let's see where did i put the measuring tape i'm pretty sure it's in the toolbox I did prepare somewhat, <laughs> completely unprepared. Because what I need is sizes right now. Let's get rid of these two. So, be a bit careful. I already took my medication. So, I don't want to cut myself. I want to end up in hospital these days. Not because of the coronavirus, trust me. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, these are roughly one millimeter. Yeah, these are one millimeter thick from one mil. And uh, 13 by 18. So the plan is to put these two together with original underneath her. That will hold it together and then you slide it into the box itself, turn on the lights. That's it. So let's put these aside. I'll clean them as soon as I need them. Right, so one millimeter, two millimeters. Double checking again. Yeah, that's roughly two millimeters by the looks of it. One, yeah, oh, I should 
put them put on me out of glasses, that's for sure. It's one to uh, it's two to three millimeters in total, so it should be fine. So the idea is, uh, let me move the camera down a bit. Right, bear with me. Right, uh, my sketching qualities are not the best in the world, but here's the idea. I'll create an outer frame and then have two hardboard uh, plates in here with a bit of a gap in between there and then you top it off with a small bit there and there and in between here you slide the two pieces of glass and well a bit of space where the LEDs will be so first of all I'll be busy cutting out the wood Bear with me Yep, there we go. So I'll be cutting out the wood itself. So let me grab another piece of paper. Take the back side. So it's 13 by 18. That's the size of the glass itself. Three millimeters on each side. So uh, then you end up with 13 plus 0.3 plus 0.3 yeah it's easy enough and 18 plus 0.3 plus 0.3 millimeters so you end up with 13.6 millimeters by 18.3 millimeters 6 millimeters so yeah Yes, a bit ca gets added, not that much, but that's the outer size of the box itself. Why three millimeters if I'm using two layers of wood? Because the outer layer is not being used, that's just uh, the structural part, the inner part, that's, that will be used for resting the glass plates on, so that's it. So next up would be, uh, yeah, I well aware I'm watching this upside down <laughs> because I haven't configured the camera yet so I can actually flip the image. I'll get there eventually, little mistakes. So all what I need is, let's see, so I've got one sheet here, that's the outer layer, then one that goes in here with another outer layer here yeah it's not perfect and then in here you get this so this area here let me move down the camera again Move it about. Yeah, as, as you can see, even with a squared paper like this, <laughs> I can't draw straight. Never said I could draw. Well, maybe 30 years ago, but not not these days. I barely draw at all. With only Photoshop, right? So this part here, if I continue it like this, make it a bit straight. This area here. So this will be that little area with all the lines in there. So this will become 18.6 and this one is 13.6. Right, so that's easy enough. So the outer layer, there's another plus Oh, three millimeters there and plus oh, three millimeters there yeah um, <laughs> I'm messing up upside down writing here so that's another 
that makes 14 point two if I put that, that down correctly so that should be 14.2 in total and adding another layer here that with me that would make 18.6 so in total 18.9 so instead of having the 0.3 mil or the 3 mil on each side, only have one back end and the front end will be open. So there's only one sheet there, if I've got this correctly. Well, we'll figure it out soon enough. I'm working from top of my head anyway. Got a rough idea what I want to do. So let's put this away. Move the camera up a bit. There we go. Um, just wondering. Let, let me rotate this a bit because I should be able to do that. I think. I think the video. Yeah, I should be able to do this. I think. Um, yeah, no, it is possible, but I need to install the proper drivers from Logitech and everything else. So, so and then I can actually rotate the image for some silly reason. Right, I'm pretty sure it's in OBS somewhere. Oh, I'm not going to figure that one out right now. I'll do that on later date. So. Let me, let me move the camera a bit forward. There we go. Let's put the view away. Uh, here we go. You've got a sheet here, pencil, ruler, and let's start drawing this. So let's start off with the bottom plates. Um, just checking here. No, I didn't need to be put in front of it. Yeah, I'm making small mistakes here. But, so let's start working on this. It's big enough to create what I want to do, the light box. So. I'm just thinking here. Because this one, first of all, I'm going to do the bottom plate. That's what I'll, I'll start off with. That will be the base of the whole box. I can always change it later on if it's a bit too big. So let's go for 19 and a half. in the way. I can saw this, use a saw and cut it out. Yeah, there's a slight problem with it. I don't have a saw that's big enough. I do have a electric jigsaw but that's quite noisy and I can't create too much noise here. So what I'll be doing is, because this is quite soft and I actually went over it 
just in case because I need to sandpaper it down anyway. So rather a bit too much than a bit too less in this case. So let's start cutting this out. This will take a bit and I am sorry for a bit of the shaky cam here. Last time I did this, the whole desk was shaking. being straight line at all. There we go. So that's one piece done. Let's put this one away. And let's get some sandpaper. And cut the oh, paper the edges a bit. here. Let's put the knife away before I cut myself. So here's the idea, right? See, this will fit nicely. Next up. Now, I do know the sight. So, um, this end, I'm not sure how much I'll be using this side I am, so that's 14.2. that's the first one. Yeah, I downloaded some music from YouTube. Oh, the description is is in the channel. Oh, I think two channels in the channel description here. Stream description. There's some good music in there, but no dubstep. Gone. I really don't like dubstep. The old jungle music, oh that was enjoyable. Dubstep, no, it's not enjoyable. It's more aggression than progression in my eyes, music wise, but hey, if you like it, then you like it. This opinion is quite subjective. Right, so let's cut this one. That's gone the wrong way. Yeah, there's a downside to cutting this. 
If you go off a bit, you go off. You end up like going this. That's more like it. Yeah, I do not have a shed or anything, but a lot of power tools. So yeah, I do watch a lot of crafting videos at times, not always. It's always funny to see, uh, especially when they start, you can do this at home, and then you see the work shed, it's like, yeah, that's all power tools. I don't have that much space, let alone the whole workbench with lots and lots of power tools. So this is something with the bare minimum of tools you could do at home. Uh, please do understand me correctly. I don't say those videos are bad. And most of them are actually quite impressive. But yeah, as soon as you say, you can do this at home, uh, yeah, if you have like $50,000 in equipment at home, yeah, you can do that. Right, so, let me then this one and break it. But, to be honest, uh, the criticism goes the other way too. Not everyone has like 10 raspberry pies at home, <laughs> so there you go. That's something I did like. A lot of retro gaming consoles and games. Uh, yeah, I think we have more than 100 or something like 150 PlayStation 2 games. <laughs> That's just a small part of our collection. So yeah. Criticism goes two ways, right? So that's sandpapered, so the, this should be quite snug. There we go. Bit of space on each side. Something like this. So this is where the sheet will be, the glass plate, and this will go on here. And that a second one will go like this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have to cut this anymore. It's already the right side, and then you end up with a cross sheet leaning on the edges. The inner sheets, really, yeah, the inner wood. Right. So, next up is the other edge, I think this will, will do, so let me take this. This one is slightly bigger, right, so this is the bottom sheet. Next up would be this side, and I think I'll make it like, I'm just thinking here, Three centimeters, that's two centimeters on the bottom, three millimeters, and then the remaining part, yeah, will be on top. There's a bit of space in between there. Could go for an inch, two and a half centimeters, I'm thinking here. I think that will be, no, nah, three centimeters, that should do it. Right, so. The further away the original is from the light, the less light goes through it. That's one of the issues I'll be facing, or at least my wife will be facing, because she'll be using it, not me. Yeah, that's me sleeping on the sofa again. Yeah, if it looks good, kill a small view just went off. Right, <laughs> moving on. So let's make the other and it's like three centimeters here. And 
this one. Three centimeters. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this in several parts of the stream because of this it needs to dry uh, some what 24 hours otherwise yeah it won't be strong enough but it will come apart and that kind of thing there we go one up and so far part all three centimeters wide so I'll end up with like four strips I think try to keep the waist to a bare minimum here tip working yeah, that's good enough All right let me clear the desk a bit That one didn't mark out the other end, so three centimeters there. There we go, and last bit that's oh, actually three centimeters and a bit, so excellent. So I've got a few five strips here. down anyway so I'm not worried if there's some bits and pieces like this
not too worried about these cuts anyway. Uh, it's going to be painted when it's done. Yeah. Not the best way of doing it. I do agree with you on that one. Even though it looks messy right now, it should look pretty when it's done. a bit here, but we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> then again, I'm making very shallow cuts before bending them and breaking them, so... a bit. Yeah, I know this one is a bit bigger. We'll see, because I do need a back end, just these are... These two will be... The sides like this. And uh, the next one would be a bit lower. at times. So I've got two pieces here. I'll, the other two, three actually, I'll be using them most likely for the inner side. So. Do you like the smell of sand in the, in the evening? Yeah. 
There's a reference, movie reference in there somewhere. Alright, that's one. Yeah, that's a lot better. Even though they, those two won't match too much. Well... Not too bad. For someone who's not using any power tools. So, next up would be the inner side. This will be the hard part. I think I need to skip the top part, so I've got one sheet that will go here and then another strip that will go here. The problem with that would be, most likely, if I cut it very small, it will break apart. You get something like this, then it's, yeah, not really usable. I'll figure something out. Top edge is not really needed. So if I put these two here. Alright. Let me measure this one out. Actually it is going a bit over. Right, let me cut this to size. Well, it is off by like two millimeters, so not too bad, not too bad. I could use a hacksaw, I do have one, a small hand one. Right, uh, let me get the proper tools here. Right, it's not in that toolbox. Long live Bluetooth headset. Yeah, 
that's a lot better. Let's get this this away. See, that's a lot better. See, that's a little bit. And that's what I'm worried about. If I cut something like this for maybe five millimeters or something, it's not usable, it just breaks apart. Right, and do the other one too. So yeah, that's a couple of millimeters off there too. Yeah, I do need to get another pencil. Right, because this one is breaking apart. Yeah, that's the problem with a small hacksaw like this. Like going through here, if I do it like this, you can see that the top end will end up, well, blocking pretty much everything. So I can go to halfway and then I have to rotate it to the other half. As I'm right-handed, not left-handed, it's a bit of a handicap. When sawing, Sorry for the noises. Rip has from users as usual. There we go. That uh, should be pretty much equal length. Yeah, it pretty much is right. Excellent. I do have a few skills. Not many, but a few. Right, there we go. Let's put the voice away. Oh, I don't need it right now. Let's put the camera back up here. There we go. So that's sandpaper. This part of it. I do have another hacksaw that's a bit bigger, but yeah, I don't have a voice that's big enough to hold a very large sheet and then cut it or saw it, so yeah, this will do. So that's one part. This will go on here. And then the other one will go on here. Like that. Yeah, the bottom plate is a bit off. But I'm not too worried about that one. It doesn't need to be a perfect square box kind of thing. And it just needs to be practical and usable. Right, so next up would be cutting one of these down a bit. Let's get a good bit here. Right, let's use this one. I think 
this one, the bottom one. This will be the bottom, I think. Right, so what will happen? Yeah, this needs to be papered down a bit more. So this will go on top of here. Minus a small bit. So let's take a bit off here. Uh, it looks pretty much like five mil. Yeah, I need to take it off at this end. So, instead of three centimeters, it would come two and a half, so roughly an inch. Pencil issue. Right, let me get another one. But it's not falling apart. So two and a half here and then two and a half here. it would be easier to have power tools to do this. Putting a lot of pressure on here. A force, there we go, that's one end done. Next up is the gluing part. Now I've got something that's like five millimeters, so if I do it like this and then glue this on, uh, it should work, let's put it this way. But my main concern is this it's incredibly fragile. And my main concern is when it's actually in use, it doesn't offer any protection at all. It will break off and then I have to redo it. And so I think it's better just to glue this together. And I have an edge like this. So this, the glass can rest on here without any issues. Paper this bit. Oh, don't 
need to sandpaper the smooth side, just the rough side a bit. Just checking here. Still a bit uh, too big, right? That's fine. It's not like I have real measurements here. <laughs> Just working from top of my head with bare minimum of measurements. Otherwise, I would have used Blender, worked everything out to, well, to, to the mill, let's put it this way. I know. Yeah, my wife is going. Uh, you know, the stream is lagging. Yeah, it's same as on Twitch. There's always a bit of a lag on the stream. Oh, yeah. Plus, I'm on Wi Fi. Doesn't help either. <laughs> I'm liking cables these days. Yeah, back in Scotland, I could actually do streams because I was cabled. Alright, so let me put these together. Put a clamp on it. We'll grab another one. That one needs to dry a bit. Of course, I only got a few of these, so. Uh, It'll work. Right, so that's one end. Let's go for the other one. Uh, let's get a bad piece here. Uh, 
All right, clean that up a bit. Oh, let's see. I'm going to cut this off here. This is a little oh, it's a bit missing here anyway. Yeah, I'll do that. So this will be the bottom part. Again, two and a half centimeters, roughly an inch. Yeah, there's a downside of doing this during sunset, a lack of light. And I do have a spotlight here, but Problem is that it will pretty much give one big floodlight here from one end, but yellowish. So I'd rather do this during the daytime when I have a lots and lots of natural light. Problem is, well, keep in mind, me and my wife used to live in Scotland for 10 years. The temperatures here are around 25C during the daytime. Uh, 25 degrees Celsius. I wouldn't know how much that is in Fahrenheit. You need to calculate that one. But for me, it's roasting outside. And I mean it's roasting. And this is just a regular spring day. So yeah, during the day here, the temperatures rise up in the room we're renting. Uh, temperatures go up like 30 to 35C. So it's quite warm during the daytime. So for me to start working on this during the daytime, trust me, this whole cutting board will be soaking wet because I'll be sweating that much. I do miss the Scottish weather. It's a lot colder. Right. Yeah, I do live in the Netherlands these days, in case you're wondering. And yes, now I have all to do with Brexit. And that's the only time I'll be talking about Brexit, so that's it. don't want to make this a political channel. I do have some opinions, by the way. Right, so, let me cut this down. So let's take a bit off here. a bit smaller. Right, let me cut this into bits. I'll cut this bit off. There we go, that's one end pretty much done. the weather will be a lot better tomorrow so I can do this during the daytime. I do want to finish this by tomorrow. Hopefully I can, can get this finished by tomorrow. Let's put it this way. Put that way. And it's the first time I'm testing my headset for this. I do have a regular microphone but if I put that one down in a proper position then I can't work anymore because that thing will be in the way. I'm using a small, bulky Bluetooth headset, which I got for actually a different reason than this. 
but not too dissimilar because this one is yeah the headset is pretty easy and handy to use uh, let me show you right so this way I'm a bit more portable I can walk about and grab the things I need yada yada yeah without being wired to a headset or anything with a mic on it or have a surround mic that picks up pretty much everything in the room this is more a direct microphone than a surround microphone uh, let's see yeah. I bought this headset actually to do streaming with it, not for my PC but for my mobile phone. So yeah, things went a bit different than plans. That's life for you. So I'm glad I still have it and can still can actually use it with my PC for streaming. Alright. Grab this one. Let's see. wider on one end than on the other two and a half yeah this one I can't use there's a bit too much of a difference in there and if this fails I'll start over I've got enough book lying about and get a proper hacksaw Trip. Pretty sure I can use this strip for something else. So it's going down on one end. I think it's more enough for the back plate. So let me measure this one out. Oh, that's two and a half centimeters. I need a bit more light by now because well yeah the sun is going down quite a bit hmm. right there with me I need a bit of extra light here yep there we go now I can actually see what I'm doing but you can see spotlight then it's, uh, yeah, it is LED. I 
light shouldn't be looking into the light. Silly me. Oh, let me cut this one to the length, the proper size. Again, just this on the safe side, that's two and a half. Yeah, that's actually half by one millimeter. And so that should do it. And there we go. Yeah, that looks a lot better. this one or for the next project. Good, we have another project. A schedule soon, but yeah, it's a big one. Right. I do have the wood here for that project. That's uh, plywood, three mils. But it needs to be cut to the proper size. It's now in sheets of 30 by 30 centimeters, so foot by foot. And it needs to be cut down to the proper size. And I can't use a Stanley knife for that one. I'm getting there. That's one bit true. One end. Oh. Now the other end. There we go. Yeah, well, that project, next nice project, will be quite an interesting one, but it's a big one. I'm working on the video for that one, ah, depending if I need to work next week or not. Insert current crisis for reasons why I'm off work right now, because there's no work coming in. Yeah, I do repair laptops for a living. That's a lot better. Let's see. Oh, that fits nicely. Just a bit off. Right, that's easy enough. Uh, let's get the voice out again. I'll do this quickly off camera. Thank you. 
Yeah, um, nice hacksaw of Poland. I do miss Poland. Oh, and I do miss B&M. Oh, they've got so much good stuff there for crafting. And I mean a lot of good stuff. Not the best tools in the world, I'll admit, but for little things like this, they're actually pretty good. They are pretty good, so... Yeah, this will work. A bit off, but it's not too bad. Right, so let me switch this one around. This will do. Get the glue. And you don't have to smear it out if you don't want to. If you just do a bit on it, that will work perfectly. But I do like to smear it out a bit. Just to be sure I don't put too much on it. There we go. be quite level that's for sure <laughs> I can already see it but yeah it'll do it will work for someone who's using more of a North Korean way of doing things no power tools whatsoever that's not too bad let's be honest Get another couple of clamps here. Hmm. Alright, I only got one left. I need to get some more. Alright, let's recycle these two then. Yeah, this one is already glued together. It just needs to dry, but. I'm at the point that I can't move it anymore, so that's always a good sign. So, this one can dry. So, next up would be the back side. That will be fun. See, so, yeah, this one is already glued enough, or already bonding. So uh, next bit would be so it's like this. All right. So I'm using this one now as a ruler. It's actually not too perfect, but bear with me. This will go on here. 
Let me grab the other one. Yeah, it's a bit off. Alright, let's see. You know, it's a bit too wide. I was afraid of that one. Let's resolve that. All together because it has absolutely no structure or strength whatsoever. So, right, I'll do this from top of my head. So, the bottom plate needs to be redone, but that's okay. Because right now it fits tightly in between here and it doesn't need to fit in there like that so this one is a bit off I'm guessing let's see working on measurements here this will go on here that it will be here. Let's start on the inner one because I know it's 13 centimeters. We'll cut that up in a bit. Uh, let's go for this bit here. This was two and a half centimeters, if I'm not mistaken. This was this one was a bit off. Right, do I have some spare wood? Put these away, they're already drying, dry quite quickly, I do like this wood glue, like within, well especially with this kind of, of wood, like within minutes it's already bonding. Uh, just trying to see, and warnings, 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 yeah I know it needs to dry for 24 hours anyway, so. Get rid of this piece here. Let's see, this one is 25 and a half. So the inner side is 13 centimeters. Uh, would have been nice if this was a bit longer. Uh, 30. That will do. I can actually get two strips out of one here. Let me grab this. So three centimeters. Use this one, maybe one end for the front end. Right here, and there's one line. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I need to figure out something with the lights. How to resolve that issue. Uh, see, the other thing is, I do have power supplies for volts. I'm not sure if I have the female connector or just the male connector because that's on the power supply, but not the female one. I could cut it off and then jerry rig something. So I do have 12 volts LED strips here. They're a bit smaller, a bit brighter. So I need to figure something out what to do, how to do that. Because I do want to like to be as bright as possible. The more lumens, the better in this case. Huh? these lines because it will be painted over anyway. Let's see. Well, plate is just too thick for that one. bit of it, the other end of it, yeah, well, it's a good thing it's an old one anyway. Right, so I've got this now, and uh, let's see, that's three, bit above three, that's fine. So next up would be 13 centimeters. So I think we will find the right angle for this camera because I'm sitting a bit forward to work and I should be sitting straight in the chair but as you can see that's where my hands would be that's where my hands will be so if I move it like this then that's a proper spot for me right and let's get the voice out again and cut this one to the proper size Length. 
I'll do this off camera because it's much easier. Uh, hacksaw. It's off. Right. Poor lightning. Poor light. That's my problem here. That's fine. I can go away. So I've still got a bit left on this end. Maybe I can recycle that one. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. The good thing, that kind of wood doesn't cost too much. I think I paid one and a half euros, about a bit more than a quid. A bit more than a dollar for a large sheet, including the cutting to size. Not this size, not this small, but... I think the sheet was like something like 120, 180 by 120, yeah, that's in centimeters. And it got cut down to size in like strips of 30 centimeters. So yeah, that kind of wood doesn't cost that much. I'm glad about that one. So, and same with the sheets of plywood. The thin sheets, they don't cost that much. I think the sheet I got uh, again, 120 by 60 or something uh, cost me five euros, including the cutting to size 30 by 30 centimeters. Mm -hmm. I keep this one. I'm a straight line now. There we go, that's a lot better. It's completely straight, but straight enough. Yeah, it's always fun when YouTube says the stream is a bit low on the bit rate. Could you increase it to like three times what you're using now? Not my own Wi Fi. why they're doing it because they've got a crappy encoding system for videos so if your video bitrate is a bit on the low end then with crappy encoding it becomes actually worse and that's 13 centimeters right so I'm just double checking here Yeah, so that's the inner inner size here. So what will happen is this will gl be glued together, most likely screwed together too. And then this one will go in here. Let me put the claws away before I cut myself. So this is pretty much cool. Uh, this needs to be cut to the proper size. Yeah, it's a bit difficult. Right. So 
about that thing. So this will become in the shell on the outside with the inner side. So I need to cut that to size. Yeah, this will work somehow. So, this needs to be cut down again. Can I cut you down? Just checking here. I don't mind making mistakes. I think I just made a mistake with that one. So yeah, that's two and a half. A bit above two and a half, right? Yeah, I'm checking here. So if I make you by 13, that should work. And yeah, it's a bit about the other one, but I don't care too much about it right now. I'd rather not waste resources, but hey ho. One does make mistakes. I do learn from them at times. So oh, yeah, 13 centimeters there, 13 there. And uh, a line across here. again yeah the next one next project uh, I need to draw a lot of things out a lot of measurements before I get started um, just to explain a bit what I'll be doing uh, I'll be creating a media player in books for audio to listen to audiobooks so yeah there's a lot of things going on there a couple of books glued together a uh, hollow out a bit of framework in there uh, that holds uh, my raspberry pi together with the screen hard drive usb ports that kind of thing just to listen to audiobooks right most people will go like uh i just use a phone or an mp3 player like yeah that's the easy way of doing things this will well if i can manage to pull it off it will actually look pretty good the books i've got they are well suited for that purpose but more about that in due time that's one of the things i still need to do which will cost me a lot of time is the hard drives I'll be using for that because there's a small issue with them they're working perfectly fine they look empty they're everything but empty but that's another that's a topic for another time so I, I still need to do a lot of recovery research and calling a couple of people actually so most likely i'll be starting off with the amp well, uh, the audiobook player before well before i actually start with the video about the hard drives even though I'll be busy with the hard drives before I start on the MP3 player or the audiobook player. Yes, continuity. What's that? There is a reason why I need to do that first before I get started on the books.
on the player. Let me cut this down a bit. will go like this. I know my hand is in the way because of the angle of the camera. Try another angle, trust me, this is the best angle. I and this is the best angle for the camera. The other angle would be right behind me, making it pretty much useless for me to do anything. So if I can manage to all that time this no I can't right so this will go in here and here so you already see there's a bit of a box here a bit of framework for a box and yeah I can feel that uh, might not be off so I think I need to cut this down a bit more because it's now 13 centimeters and Grabbing the glass again, this is 13 centimeters, so 6 mil needs to go off. Easy enough. Yeah, I'm not worried about these bits here. A bit, you can see, a bit missing. We've we'll filled up with glue anyway, so. And on the inside, so you won't be seeing that anyway. Next bit is. Taking a bit off here. Alright, let's do it like that. That's roughly six millimeters. Yeah, I do keep taking, uh, loosening or taking off the voice from table because otherwise I'll be leaning into the device itself and it's painful. Yeah, 
Oh, I'm pretty sure I need to file down a, a few bits and pieces here. Yeah, I'm not very happy about this cut, to be honest. But let's see. The other end a bit low. No, ah, I won't do it. I won't do it. Just need to file it down a bit, cut it down a bit here. a lot better. Right, so back to the drawing board here. Well, drawing board. There is no drawing board. So that one will go there, that one will go there. And this one will go in here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to cut the bottom too much. So this will go on here with a back plate. So right, that look. Oh, that's a bit under. This one is enough. This is waste. Right, so I need to figure something out here. Because I need to cut a bit more from this. I'm looking at time, it's quarter past nine here. Uh, almost two hours into the, into the stream. So I'm going to call it quits for today. So there will be more parts of this, so you can hear me ramble about nothing. So I'll continue tomorrow. Hopefully during the daytime, if not early evening, and finish this. Maybe I'll redo these. I'm not too sure, because I'm not too happy about these cuts. Because we're well, cutting this with a knife. Yeah, no, it's not the best way of doing things. It works. Let's put it this way: the North Korean way of doing things by hand. What do you mean? You need machines to do anything. Put enough people on it and it gets done. Right. So I'll end the stream here for now. Uh, continue tomorrow more uh, tomorrow evening, maybe tomorrow afternoon. Yeah. My local time zone, GNT plus one. To continue this, maybe I, I'll just restart it. I don't know yet. Uh, pretty sure I'll get a proper hacksaw. Maybe I'll redo the cuttings. This one is pretty good, but yeah, I'm not too happy about these to be honest. So I'll get a proper hacksaw. Most likely do the sawing offline because yeah, it's all over the place. Do the sawing offline. A proper pieces, measure the thing out, <laughs> do it like it actually should. But hey, if you look at all the larger YouTubers and not so larger YouTubers, it's always so perfect. Yeah, no, real life here, right? <laughs>
everything but perfect. Right. That's what I enjoy the most. Making mistakes and learning from them. Right. Um that being said, uh I'll end the stream here. Hopefully I'll see you next time for part two. Looks like you'll be doing everything, so do it properly. So till then, uh leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Enjoy the evening, stay safe and take care.